Hi, my name is Rachel Weston and I'm a children's author. September last year, 2019, my first book came out, which is called Bumblebees Have Smelly Feet. This is a non-fiction children's book all about bumblebees and what they do, their life cycle and all about them. This is an example. Second book I have out, which February this year came out, is called Hello, Kia ora, Welcome, New Friend. And this is for preschoolers from 0 to 5. And this picture book is all about your first day starting at kindy or preschool and how you feel quite nervous on your first day not knowing anyone and how the children and the teacher make Ruby feel welcome in her new kindergarten family. At the back, I also added some notes with some other hello language greetings, such as the story can be read, hello, talo for welcome new friend, or hello, ni hao, welcome new friend, and things like that. The third book I have coming out is October this year, and it's another children's picture book. It's called Boo Goes Tutti Fruity, and this is just a fun story about a dog who's home alone and hungry, and he gets into the fruit bowl, um, tries out all the fruit, causes mayhem in the house and a mess, and um, finds out which fruit he loves the best. So that's my books. Um, my writing tip for story writing is to write things down, write story ideas down, and it might be just a fun sounding word, or it might be a sentence that you've heard somewhere, or you might overhear someone's name that sounds really cool that you haven't heard before, and that might be a, a good idea for a character's name in your story. I've got three New Zealand author books here for an example for that, and this one's called Sniff, Snuff, Snap. And this is by Lindley Dodd, and the story repeats those words in there, sniff, snuff, snap, which is quite catchy and quite fun for children. The other one by Joy Cowley is Nickety Nackety Noo Noo Noo, another fun sounding words that this story is based around. And the third one here is about um, the girls in the kapahaka that Angie Boucher wrote. She's another Tauranga author and this is her experience of watching the kapahaka. So it could be something that you're involved in um, that you want to write about or something funny you've seen or heard or something funny that's happened to you, some type of experience, jot it down in a notebook. I have lots and lots of notebooks. These are my notebooks here. Then I write down my story ideas, words that I've heard that I think might, I might add to a story one day or some of them are based around how I wrote my story like bumblebees have smelly feet. I heard that and thought, wow, that's crazy and wrote that down in my notebook and then learned all about the bumblebee and, and wrote the book. Um, my tip or my um, writing task for you is to write five things down during your day that you've heard or seen um, that's new to you, five words or five sentences that could evolve into a story and write five things down every day in a writer's notebook or on a piece of paper that you keep somewhere and at the end of the week you'll have 25 new story ideas that you could use um, to start a story or to grow a story from. So thanks for listening and good luck and all the best with your writing.